Hello friends, this is Manoj Joshi from Wellness by All Means. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us to uh, reconnect. It's on Wellness by All Means forum. So we talk about uh, friends like who have done um, something great or in the process of doing something great. So we are all uh, friends together. We would like to uh, talk to each other about uh, what are the good things happening and then how we can really help each other with the uh, uh, individual knowledge that we have gained in this life, uh, be it technology or uh, health management or um, training management or software management, entrepreneurship development, whatever that could be, how we can really learn from each other and how we can grow uh, together. That's the kind of objective of this forum. So today we are interviewing uh, Makranji, like he is um, he's a great uh, entrepreneur in the Silicon Valley. He is uh, the uh, founder and CEO of a company called Wajuba.com. Um, it's a uh, beautiful company that will talk about it. And uh, also like he's uh, our uh, healing partner, like one of the institutes that we all follow, Pranasikti Foundation, he's also part of that. And then we have been interacting with each other for quite some time right now. So welcome back Makranji, like uh, we will introduce you uh, as we go. So uh, with that brief introduction, welcome you to this Wellness by All Means Forum. And uh, so how are you doing? Thank you Manojji, thank you for this opportunity to, you know, have a short interview call with you. Right. I'm doing great, thank you. Uh, so uh, before I start, I would like to thank uh, Wellness by All Means and Manojji uh, in special, right? Uh, for being an awesome yoga master, healer, and he's been like serving our community for more than 15 years, I believe. And he has impacted thousands of lives. I know personally a lot of people who have been, uh, has had that great gift of working with Manojji and uh, Specifically in situations like stress management, healing, or any specific uh, situations which have impacted people's life and you know, uh, have derailed them from their goals, from their successes, from their, uh, from their routine which they wanted to achieve. So that's an awesome work you're doing. And you also have a radio show. So that is also, you know, has impacted a lot of people. So thank you. Yeah, that's very good. Thank you for the kind uh, words and compliments that you're giving it to, to me particularly. That's great. And then I am a great uh, devotee of yoga. Uh, that's for sure. Like I believe that yoga has got the power to benefit a lot of us. So I have been really passionate about learning different aspects of yoga and then helping people out whatever they need with different aspects of yoga. So when we talk about yoga, let me just ask you one question, like what specific aspect of yoga really attracts you the most? Uh, so Manojji, I mean, I feel like, you know, and as we uh, learned as well is like, you know, yoga is not about like any, it's a way of life, it's way of like transitioning you. Right. Um, from, uh, so that you can be at your optimum levels when you're working on. Mm -hmm. And uh, what that does mean is like, you know, have, making sure that you're energetic the whole day. Like, you know, if you can have an output of 18 hours a day, nothing like it. Right, totally. And to do that, you should also be untouched by the external pressures or stresses, specifically when we're working or when we are a part of any organization. Or there are a lot of like, you know, politics, there's a lot of uh, work pressure, there are a lot of things simultaneously which you need to deliver. So all those things, uh, and at, yet, yet at the end of the day, you should feel like you have achieved something and you should feel like, you know, you have taken your, you've gone like one step closer towards your goal. And that's where I feel like yoga has helped me a lot, you know, to... You know, I, I really like the, uh, the untouchability of the aspect of yoga you talked about, like how, makes, how yoga makes you untouchable to stress, anxiety and worries. That's a great right. part. Uh, I often uh, teach in my class, like, um, you know, I give the analogy of, uh, like, suppose, say, for example, uh, think about a sailboat in the ocean, right? A sailboat is swimming in the ocean, it's moving in the ocean. So as long as the sailboat doesn't allow the water to come inside the boat, the boat will not sink. Right. Similarly, we also have this vessel of the body, mind, intelligence complex, and then we are just sailing through this uh, stressful ocean of the world. So as long as you don't allow the uh, so-called water kind of stress into your life, you will still sail through without drowning yourself. So that means you have to really go over the body consciousness that will protect your body because you have got a lot of power. So not to process the stress in such a way that it starts contaminating you, it starts uh, drowning you. So until with that awareness, I think we can all deal with the stress uh, as much as possible because stress itself is not bad by itself. Like, you know, it's just a perspective around stress that uh, causes damage to us body and mind. 
so that's a great aspect of yoga that he talked about and uh, for that i believe uh, yoga nidra uh, is a very good technique uh, and tool and i'm sure like we must be uh, practicing that few times in the night so that uh, it uh, helps us to relax well because in the 8 hours of sleep time that we invest if we can really calm down our body and mind uh, by a technique called yoga nidra um, that definitely will help to prepare the body to uh, deal with the stress throughout the day so oh, certainly certainly and that's a very good aspect you brought uh, over there and uh, you know i have gone through a lot of your yoga nidra meditations mm-hmm. and uh, i would like to also let know the audience that you can just google on youtube or youtube for manoji uh, manojoshi yoga nidra or w bam yoga nidra and you can see like you know a lot of his videos over there based on a particular situation or a particular uh, aspect you are trying to uh, work upon so i mean it's always a good thing like you know to plan your day ahead uh, to start with a strong sleep and right. have a nice planning for the next day and you have a strong sleep and to do that you know uh, sometimes when we sleep we have like so much of uh, so much of like you know uh, layers of thoughts which we have which we have uh, developed over the day that we need to like take them away and like refresh ourselves right and that's where i have like i have listened a lot of your yoga nidras in fact like you you have put me to sleep a lot of times mm-hmm. as well <laughs> but yeah. i try to be awake and you know try to invoke those uh, instructions more and more also uh, put my goals in it and you know because now your subconscious mind has been activated so great right. could be good to also instruct it on what you want and how can we do that so yeah i mean uh, yoga nidra has helped me a lot you know you use the word sleep and also use the word awake that itself is the magic like that so we call our yoga nidra to stay yoga nidra s t a y it's called sleep that awakens you okay so it's an oxymoron how can a sleep awaken me like but it's awakening in a different way like in awakening your dreams awakening your personality awakening your potential insight so actually it's a very yogic tantric technique like when you sleep in a particular way in a conscious way then definitely your subconscious mind gets reprogrammed and then you wake up your uh, your latent potential so that all the cells get educated during the time it's called a whole brain and whole mind learning so i think that's a very wonderful program particularly we don't have time to read through a lot of things and in the knowledge economy we all need the precise knowledge to be always on the top of everything that's happening right so um, that's why yoga nidra can be very handy uh, particularly this concept of yoga nidra it's just not the relaxation but during the state of relaxation how you can get uh, some ideas that you are interested for like how to build focus how to build uh, um confidence how to build uh, a positive uh, thinking as a ha- habit so the reprogramming of the subconscious mind can happen during that time Absolutely. and we're talking about this topic right now i think I th- let's let's segue between uh, you know how yoga nidra the ancient technique of um, sleep uh, that can awaken us but in the wakeful state like we all need to be trained we need to um, equip ourselves with the right knowledge so for that i would definitely bring out uh, the concept that you are uh, spearheading right now is called the wajuba platform so basically it's an online training platform as much as i understand it allows you to people uh, it allows you people to manage their classes like in different kind of classes different kind of courses that you can uh, you can program so uh, online that you can offer to, to your audience so uh, so let us talk a little bit more about that like what is the wajuba platform and what's your dream and how you would like to help uh, the world sure yeah so uh, thank you manoj ji yeah uh, it's it's wajuba.com so w a j o o b a.com and what it is is basically it it helps training studios to streamline their training and grow their business so you know uh, for a training studio owner right specifically uh, and first of all i would like to thank you for being a prestigious client so yeah. as a training studio owner uh, you have a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders i mean right. m- most of the time small businesses they are like you know doing they are wearing a lot of hats and uh, working on the management working on students working on uh, different aspects of administration if uh, working on your website if all these things can be automated and if you can focus more on delivering your speciality or on delivering your training and impacting more and more students uh, that would be that would be a kind of like a serv- big huge service to the mankind right totally what wajuba offers is to automate all these processes mm. and it's a, it's a, you can like start it with free so you can create a free account and experience it yourself right you can basically launch your online classes 
and like the Zoom class, right? So you can uh, launch your online classes. Once a class is over, uh, the student can basically uh, get his uh, Zoom URLs or like, you know, the meeting URLs pretty dynamically. They can log in. Their attendance will be auto-tracked. So uh, they will get secure URLs. And on top of it, like once the meeting is over, if you would like to up upload some recordings or upload some courses or create a complete online course, that is that can be done as well. While doing all these things, you can have your own CRM maintained. And you know, every contact in your database, they say is like around $50 a year. It's mm -hmm. worth $50 a year. So maintaining that database over the period is very important. I think I'm really excited about this uh, because as uh, you know, I have been dealing a little bit more about the need of this particular thing, especially uh, post during the pandemic time, the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of people, all of us are locked down in our houses still right now. And uh, this has also opened up a new possibility of how we can really preach to the world in a global market. You know, whatever the talent that you have, uh, of course, there are bigger platforms, but in a structured way uh, within your uh, reach, like if you can design your courses, you can automate uh, some of these processes as you talked about the payment process or um, putting a structure to your course itself, putting light videos and then um, connecting to your uh, your clients with uh, different kind of tools that is connected to the CRM aspect. And those are very handy. So in fact, I've been uh, encouraged to talk to a couple of my student friends and they have been excited about uh, helping us to build some kind of contents right now. And I think two teams are working to build a content for uh, mindfulness in action. Uh, the August batch that we are going to start to um, to teach the tra uh, teens and the youth population of our society awesome. Awesome. how they can be really uh, be uh, excited about building a foundation about yoga and mindfulness, and how they can really uh, understand the core concept of how it is a lifestyle. So we have got this eight weeks of module, and then so I think Yojiva platform is an excellent platform right now for us to lay out those modules and then put specific videos on that and then we can uh, we can offer them um, in a very trendy way so that uh, you know kids and youth can be excited about um, you know, getting their uh, courses in, in the right uh, forum and then also making a small group and then you know they can talk to each other so all the different aspects of learning and getting motivated to learn so that gamification process also can be uh, very handy to encourage us to be on the right path of uh, learning something which is always required right now. You cannot afford to be obsolete, right? Nothing is future proof. So every concept is changing. That's why it is very, very important right now to uh, to talk to yourself, like, you know, what are the best things that I should learn about right now? And in fact, this is not something new because I always try to look at the past, look at the yoga as a, as a baseline, you know, how this uh, ancient system also teaches us in the modern time. So if you look back, one of the yamas that we talk about is called Siddhanta Sravan. Okay. So one of the niyamas is called Siddhanta Sravan. That means Siddhanta means like what are the inferences that the great people have already laid out from their experience of life. So learning from others' experiences so that you don't make the same mistake again and again, right? Awesome. And then so you have to really invest time to hone your skill because as Stephen Covey says, the eighth habit of all influential people is sharpen the saw. You have to learn how to sharpen your saw. Without sharpening your saw, you cannot uh, go and then cut out the trees in the right manner, right? Mm -hmm. The demand is too much. So we have to invest time with our own self. And for that, you need a structured platform, what I think your company is trying to Absolutely. do. Absolutely. So that people will be well equipped with the knowledge that they need to survive in life and not, not only just survive, thrive in life. Like they can make a big difference. Um, even though you have a job, but maybe it might make sense to have a platform just like a website, just like a online mobile platform. Maybe it makes sense to have a training platform, a class platform, where you'd like to nurture your hobby and then teach to the world, like, look, like, you know, this is how to play a flute. I right? can have a lesson for flute learning, or this is how you can teach a dance or some movements or whatever that you have expertise on or whatever that you built up as a habit or a hobby all your life. We can put a small course and then popularize that uh, through your uh, through your platform, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think that would be awesome. You know, if you have any skill or if you'd like to reach more audience, right. get a bigger impact, right? I mean, it's also like more uh, to your existing clients. Uh, you might have one course, you might want to like launch other one, but you might want to do it in an automatic, you might want to use the technology for your uh, 
useful purposes you know so that you can leverage the technology and deliver more right without without getting impacted of course yoga and everything else is very much needed to uh, get yourself at your optimum energy level right hey but technology is there to help you out right and uh, particularly you coming from the technology background of being a saas architect like you to understand the saas model like you know how people can subscribe to different models and then right. how to make it um, a, a good way uh, from the uh, different kind of aspect technology aspects and then how to integrate different kind of plugins so i think from the technology point of view because you being a technologist uh, the technical person like you know that can be very handy to put all those right things uh, into the place so that people can benefit absolutely yeah and as i said like you know it's it's i mean the running classes i mean having a specialist expertise like you know right. what you can train is one thing and also like delivering it and reaching it to the masses right and that is what is we are looking for and that's where we can make use of technology right now the tools are there and right. i just like vajuba is free to start with so you can have all those tools with you right. they're free for you just go out use it leverage it and build your business right i particularly know you uh, sincerely like you now when uh, our guruji came uh, from india like you now we talked about pranasit healing so i really got fascinated about uh, how selflessly like you really uh, uh, put the program put the flyer and uh, you know spent hours together we went together to mount meduna for a retreat you yeah, know that was awesome. so that very passionate things like you now so when you are passionate about something doing in life and helping out people i think that has got a lot of weightest to uh, to carry on and then you have a wonderful family uh, i know you have got two girls and uh, you know just like me so that's a, a also a great responsibility to be a, a good family man and then try to help out the world because uh, i'm sure like you know, through this work that you're doing a lot of people in india would get employed like because you know the technology can be built over there so we are trying to nurture the whole global economy but even though we are in the silicon valley you know we have uh, roots in india and then that's why you know this will be a very good uh, proposition to take the best from the east best from the west and offer to the world what best we can do uh, particularly in the time of this covid-19 um, pandemic absolutely a yeah, time has come you know uh... time has come and with covid-19 uh, there are no geographical boundaries anymore right right so you can impact as a person you can impact a lot of bigger audience right out of which other areas so there is we need to leverage it right i think uh, you know we want to keep it short and then um, any any last word that you would like to speak uh, on behalf of your experience and what is your dream and how do you like to see uh, for yourself like you know how um, the whole and uh, you know entrepreneurship that you have shown you know how are you going to take shape right now what's your thoughts no i would like to thank manoj ji and uh, thank prana shakti parivar uh, thank my uh, our guru ji arun ji for all those his blessings grace and experience he has given it to us as well as uh, yeah i mean uh, as far i would like to uh, like if there are any trainers in the audience and if you would like to start your own training courses this is the right time for you to get started in person classes of online classes or even online courses whatever you like to do right sure. the platform is there leverage it out it's free so please go ahead and use it and make 100% use of it so and then i'm going to i'm very excited because uh, definitely like you now i'm excited to at least like three courses i'm working on right now on the vajuba platform so friends who uh, have been practicing yoga with us at the wellness by almis family like you know you will be excited to uh, see uh, how what we are talking about right now and how it can be much more easier to come to the class um, and experience something much different and then retain the things that we have talked about we can review those kind of classes uh, the videos and all these things i think you will be definitely uh, excited to uh, have us uh, offer this kind of courses through the new platform that we are talking about right now so with that uh, i think we'll just uh, have a closer to this forum um, uh, thanking all the friends thanking all our teachers thanking all our parents thanking all our ancestors to have us given the wisdom that we have and then try to nurture it so that uh, we can make a difference in this life itself thank you very much makaranji wish you all namaste namaste